We're going to take a look at using Eventbrite Organizer app for scanning tickets and checking attendees in. I'm going to get started by logging in with my username and password. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to tap the event that I want to check people into. And at the bottom, I'm going to tap check in. You want to wait until the full list downloads before scanning tickets or checking attendees in. There are two ways that you can check attendees in using Eventbrite Organizer app. You can manually search for them or you can scan their ticket barcode. We're going to first look at search by, so go ahead and tap the magnifying glass in the upper right corner. You can search for the attendee using his or her first or last name. So use whichever is least common of those two in order to find that order faster. So I'm going to type in the last name here. I've located my ticket and I'm going to swipe all the way to the right to check that ticket in. Once it is checked in, you'll see a thin green bar appear to the left of the attendee's name to let you know that that's been successfully checked in. If you make a mistake uh, checking someone in, you can uncheck that person by swiping to the left. Now we're going to take a look at barcode scanning. To barcode scan, you're going to tap the icon in the lower right corner. This is what the scan screen will look like. Once you're ready to scan, you're going to scan the customer's QR code ticket. You want to hold down the thin gray button on the right side of the Honeywell device and aim for this QR code here. You want to make sure that the laser is pointed directly at the ticket and wait for the valid checked in message to appear. Another good thing to note is tickets will come in a variety of forms. The first one that we're going to look at is the Eventbrite app for attendees. So this is how the ticket will display. The customer will show this QR code here to get it scanned. If the customer has multiple tickets, the customer will swipe to the right in order to surface the other tickets. There's also Apple Wallet. So the customer has the ability to add their Eventbrite tickets to Apple Wallet. Same thing, the, or the attendee would want to surface the QR code here. If they have multiple tickets, they will have to swipe right in order to surface those tickets. So this is the PDF ticket that is attached to the attendee's confirmation email. So this is the printout that they use and bring to the event. This is the QR code here to be scanned. And lastly, this is the thermal ticket that is commonly printed on site. So the customer will receive this printout and take it to the entrance to get scanned using the QR code here. So when scanning, there are a couple of error messages to be aware of. The first one is already checked in. So I'm going to scan this ticket and I receive the already checked in message. This means that this ticket has already been checked in. You can see when it was checked in by checking the timestamp at the bottom. The second error message that you want to be aware of is invalid barcode. So I'm going to scan this ticket and as you can see I receive an invalid barcode message. This can mean that the ticket is for a different event a non-Eventbrite event, or if everything on the ticket matches the event that you're at, the ticket may have been refunded or canceled. Either way, send that person to customer service to get their issue resolved. The next check-in message we're going to talk about is check-in restricted. So I'm going to scan this ticket, and I see check-in restricted for ticket number one. So this means that this ticket type has been deselected for check-in for this device and that the customer will need to enter at the either at the correct entrance or use the correct ticket type in order to gain entry into that area. When using an Eventbrite scan scanner in a Honeywell device, you may notice that the scanner only goes to camera mode. There are a couple of ways you can resolve this. The first one is by force quitting the app and reopening. Reselect check-in, tap scanning. If this doesn't resolve, 
what you'll want to do is remove the iPhone from the Honeywell casing. In order to do that, you're going to pull this forward, lift up, remove the phone from the sled, reinsert it, and close the top back. That will allow the scan screen to appear.